If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this Resurrectionist emblem, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny video and today I've got an exclusive look for you guys at all the new raid armors. So let's get into this shit. Okay, so let's start with the Master Race Hunters. So first up we have the new Water Glass armor. This set is without the ornaments applied, looking pretty fucking cool. As I speculated in my video earlier, it is the blue armor we saw leaked over a year back. Now we can see the Hunter's Water Glass armor with ornaments applied. This is too much, I need this shit in my life right now. Next up we have the Hunter's Crotus End Armour. This armour across the board for all three characters is my favourite we've seen with the Age of Triumph. I mean I fucking love this shit. Next up we have the Hunter's King's Full Raid Armour. This obviously having ornaments applied as when it's standard it's the same as we already know. And last but not least, for the Hunter, we have the Wrath of the Machine armor, again with ornaments applied. Looks quite fucking sexy, if I don't say so myself. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the Titan, starting with the standard Vortal Glass gear, looking as good as ever. Next up we have that water glass gear but with ornaments applied and damn I am in love with that shield thingy thingy on his back, absolutely amazing. Next up we have the Titans Crotus End Armour, again looking so fucking cool, I cannot wait to start grinding for this shit. Next up we have the Titans King Full Red Armour. Now I do like the armour, it's just a helmet puts me off. It's so fucking big and ugly, I just don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. Next up we have the Titans of the Machine Armour. This is more like it, looking pretty fucking badass. Okay, so last but not least, we have the Warlock's new armors, starting with the standard Water Glass gear, looking as badass as I remember. Next up, we have the Warlock's Water Glass armor, but with the ornaments applied. Now, I am so jelly the Hunter is not getting them tentacles. They look so fucking sick, it's unreal. Next up we have the Warlock's Crotus End Raid armor. I'm speechless. I mean, I fucking just love this set, I really do. And the way the energy kind of dissolves and rebuilds itself when you get hit is just amazing. Next up we have the Warlock's King Full Raid armor. This in my opinion looks amazing. Probably the best King's Full Raid armor I had all three, especially with the new ornaments applied. I love it. Next up we have the Warlock's Wrath of the Machine armor, again looking great, I cannot wait to start grinding come March 28th. 
Okay, so that is it for the armors I've got to show you guys, but I have a few more things to show you, starting with this sparrow. Now it's called the XV1 Usurper, and to be honest, I ain't quite sure where it's obtainable from. The crack shell and the kind of blue NG are kind of reminiscent of the new King's Full Raid armor, and Bungie did say that sparrows will be obtainable from places they weren't before, so King's Full would be my guess. Next up we have this ghost shell, it's called the Templar shell, and you only get one guess to where this is obtained. And if you have to even guess, you should slap yourself. And last up we have this ghost shell, it's called the Ascendant shell. And again, I ain't certain where it's obtained from, but if I had to guess, I'd probably say Crota, just because of the black shell itself and that kind of green flowing energy, similar to what we see in the new Crota's end gear. But I could be mistaken. But that is it guys, that is all I have to showcase at the moment. If I get anything else, obviously, you'll find it here on my channel. If you guys are new around here and like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Turn on the notifications so you never miss a video and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand